Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make catchy guitar beats for Ian Dior and Justin Rari and Logic Pro X. I already got a melody made. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and then I'm gonna do the drums live. Let's get into the video. All right guys, so as you can see right here, I got a melody bounced out and it's at 134, but I actually made this melody in 126 BPM. So I'm gonna lower it to that to show you guys how I made it. I started with this guitar pattern right here and this is what it's gonna sound like. And if you guys couldn't tell, this second part or the second half of the melody is the exact same as the first half, but it's just pitched down. So if I pitch it up here, it's gonna be the exact same as that first half of the melody. After I made this melody right here, I, I duplicated the guitar from Expand, and then I took these notes right here, so this G sharp, B, and D sharp, and then these three notes right here, to make chords on this guitar right here. And this is what the guitar chords are gonna sound like with that other melody. After I made those chords, I wanted to spice up the melody a little bit, so I added, I duplicated the guitar again, and then I created the exact same chords, but then I added some like rhythm to it by slicing it at different points, and this is what it's gonna sound like with the different rhythm. So after that, that was all I did for the guitars. And then I added this sound right here, which is just like a bell from Expand, and this is what it's going to sound like. And then the last thing I did for variation was I duplicated that bell down, and then I just put halftime on it, and this is what it's going to sound like with halftime. Alright guys, that's the entire melody. Now I'm gonna add the drums. For the hi-hats, since we want the melody to be the main focus of this beat, I'm just gonna go with the basic two-step. But like I do in a lot of my videos, or beats I guess, is I'm gonna take the second hi-hat right here and then reduce the velocity, and then duplicate it over to make an up-down effect. Real quick guys there, I completely forgot to put it back in 134. But now I'm feeling like 134 is a bit too fast, so I lowered it to 130 and I like how that sounds better. Alright guys, I'm doing this part a little differently, but I'm gonna start with a kick and then I'm gonna do the 808 after. Real quick guys, for the 808, to find out the right notes to play, I'm just looking at the chords and then taking the bass notes, which are in this case G sharp and D sharp, and then I'm gonna use those for the 808. Alright guys, now that I got the 808 pattern, I'm going to hit Command A to select all the notes, Shift Backslash the Force Legato, and then Option Shift and then the Down key to pitch it to the right octave.
right guys that's the entire beat super simple drums because of the like melody being the main focus i'm just gonna arrange it real quick and then i'm gonna play the whole beat for you guys Alright guys, I just finished arranging the beat and mixing and mastering the beat, so it's completely finished now. I think it's a pretty catchy melody, and Justin Rari has a lot of beats like this. This is a little slower than his beats. His beats are normally in like the 140 to 150 range, but it still captures the same type of vibe. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, I'm out. Peace.